Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So today I will uh, give you a little bit of demonstration of how to fabricate your own solar cell. Now it's not like a normal solar cell. Well, basically when we talk about solar cell, I bet that you have this kind of instrument in your head. This is a polycrystalline silicon solar cell. This is what you have been um, observed installed on the rooftop of any any household or any building. So this, we are not going to fabricate this by our, our own. We have one type of solar cell which is known as dye sensitized solar cell which we only need to use kitchen chemistry. So each one of the group will be given two conducting glass. This glass is so special because it is conducting type of glass. How do we know that it is conducting glass? So we have we will give each one of the group a multimeter. So what you need to do is set the multimeter to times 10 K of resistivity. Uh, put the terminal on the surface of conducting glass. If no reading, so for example, if no reading, if the needle of the multimeter does not deflect, it means that this is not the conducting side. So you have to switch to the other phase such that if you test, there is a reading of resistivity. So this is the conducting side. So make sure we will always need to work on the conducting side. Just simply Okay, splash the ethanol onto the surface of the conducting side and leave it dry just like that. Now, you have A4 paper with you. Now you need to draw a square 1 cm times 1 cm. Just put the paper inside the plastic part so that the location of the paper is fixed. Now take your clean conducting glass and place it on the top of the plastic. You need to put your glass in a position exactly or nearly like this. And fix the position just like that. Okay. Now what you need to do is trace the square using cellophane tape. Okay. Nampak? Trace the square using cellophane tape exactly on the line of the square. Okay. Place it up there. The other side. And make sure the cellophane tape is well fixed on the surface of our conducting glass. And take your paste. Drop small amount of titanium dioxide paste onto the surface of conducting glass. Cover the whole area of the conducting glass. Slide gently on the surface of conducting glass. We need to make even layer of titanium dioxide. Make sure the layer of titanium dioxide is pretty enough from your naked eye. Okay. Sometimes you need to slide it from different angle. Slide it a few times. You might do this. You might need to do this for a few times. There you go. This one is considered a nice surface of titanium dioxide. So next stage is uh, we need to peel off the cellophane tape. Quite tricky because sometimes it's attached to the other side. And this is how the layer of titanium dioxide is supposed to be fabricated. Wipe off the smudge of the titanium dioxide. Be careful not to touch the center of titanium dioxide. Okay? This is how we fabricate the titanium dioxide layer. It's not supposed to be exactly square, just something like this is acceptable. Just switch on the heating stage and set the temperature to 100 Celsius degrees. Exactly 160 degrees for 10 minutes. On the other half of the conducting glass, take a pencil. We need to coat a sufficient in thickness of carbon layer. So what we need to do is that just 
do like that okay until you see some carbon is start to depositing on the surface of the glass keep on doing this using different angle we want need to switch the angle of the conducting glass now this is how the surface of the conducting glass which has been coated by the carbon using your pencil now what you need to do is like take a piece of um, tissue paper and wipe off a little bit of one of the edge one of the edge one edge only wipe off a little bit just like this to make electrical contact later this will be our next stage so the sealing material should be nearly similar to the dimension of the conducting glass so you need to cut just like that just put this is the sealing material put the conducting glass on top of the sealing material and make sure the offset is like this eh? the remaining you should need to uh, make an offset of the conducting glass with the sealing material so this is the only area that we need to cut mark it using pencil or pen or anything that you have scissors will be provided just cut it like that and cut the other side of the trace the sealing material onto the square that you have draw just now and you need to cut a hole in the shape of the square put a cellophane tape just to make sure to fix the position of the sealing material follow the shape of the square Go. This is the cut sealing material and one thing that you need to do, you need to peel off the safety layer of the sealing material. There are two layers you need to peel off. You need to take the rigid one. We have two layers. One is the soft one, one is the rigid one. Take the rigid one because the rigid one is the, the sealing material. Now back to the titan dioxide. After it had reached 160 degrees for 10 minutes, just simply turn off the heating stage and let the, the whole system to cool down. How well, this dye has been fabricated using red beet. Okay. You could use other type of fruits or leaves or flower just to extract the dye. Just simply immerse the fruit or the leaf into ethanol. So this is how the dye looks like. We don't need to fabricate this in our lab. It has been prepared for you. So what you need to do is just pour the dye solution into beaker immerse our fabricated layer of titanium dioxide into the dye solution now make sure your layer has been cooled down perfectly so observe that the color of the titanium dioxide is white in color so we need to immerse inside the solution and the color of the titanium dioxide will be changed gradually so we need to immerse it for 10 minutes or so 10 minutes later so what you have to do is to take out the FTO or the conducting glass outside from the beaker just like that as you can see the color of the titanium dioxide already changed into uh, reddish or pinkish wash using ethanol uh, as you can see the color of the titanium dioxide remained the same in pinkish in color so it means that the dye already adsorbed or attached strongly onto the titanium dioxide layer and we need to leave this aside for a while to leave it dry for a while for now after your TiO2 and dye layer has been dried take the spacer again the plastic spacer and put it on the top of the fabricated layer make sure it is overlapped with your the IO2 layer just like that so next stage is that you need to take uh -huh, the conducting glass with carbon coated and sandwich it carefully onto the first layer now you need to there you go 
and take a paper clip clip at the both side of the cell wait up and you need one more uh, electron light so after you have clip at the one side of the cell now it's time for us to put some electron light okay, just use micro pipette take a small amount of electron light and put it Just like that. Okay. Pump it. Pump it one more. Clip it. Okay. One more. Okay. Lagi. Lagi. Buat banyak kali. Lagi. Now to check how much current is being generated by your solar cell. We need to use multimeter. So first, you need to switch the multimeter to the lowest uh, level of ampere, like this. Okay, lowest ampere. The sensitivity of the multimeter set to the lowest ampere that it could be detected. So now, could you focus on the device on the multimeter? As you can see, it is giving the reading. Now let's check our second cell. Wow, it's giving even higher current. So the group that could fabricate a solar cell which produces the highest current will win this challenge. Remember, the group that could fabricate a solar cell with the highest current will win this challenge. So are you up to the challenge? Let us see your skill in the laboratory. Good luck.